So while we do everything we can to ensure that our computers systems are secure, the last step is to have a current backup of our important data files, whether those are photos, spreadsheets, documents, databases, etc. Because the truth is that in spite of all our efforts to lock down our networks and computers, new vulnerabilities are discovered literally on a daily basis. So the following video will demonstrate how to use a Synology NAS as an FTP server to keep a copy of our data safe and secure against ransomware, in addition to other system failures that could result in data loss. So I'm already logged into my Synology NAS control panel, and you'll note on the top there under file sharing, there are three steps that we need to take to turn this NAS into a secure file server or an FTP server. So the first step in the control panel is to go to the file services right here and go to the FTP tab and just scroll down a little bit and enable the FTP service. And that's literally all we need to do on this tab. We'll click apply and that's it. Now we'll go back to the home. The next step is to create a user that we can use. So we're going to create a user and I'm going to just call this FTP user. You can use your imagination to create a user of your preference. Put in a password and I'm putting a weak password here for demonstration purposes but I encourage you to use a long and hard to guess password. So we've created the user and he's part of the user group. You'll note not part of the administrator group. And there's no folders yet to assign uh, permissions to, so we'll get back to that shortly. Next and next. We want to make sure that we enable allow FTP permissions for this user. Next, next, apply. And that's all we need to do for the user. Now we'll go back home again, and this time we're going to create a shared folder. So we'll just simply create, we'll give it a name, we'll call this FTP underscore folder. And again, use your imagination to come up with any name that makes sense to you. Next, we do not need to encrypt the folder, apply. And now permissions. Uh, we want to allow that FTP user that we just created read-write access to that folder. We'll press OK to that. And those are the three steps on your Synology NAS to turn it into FTP server. Now we're going to go over to the next part, which is to create a profile in our backup program to back up our files to that server. So that's coming up next. Okay, so now we're in our backup program and we're just about to create a profile to use to back up our data to that FTP server that we just created on the Synology NAS. Now I'm using SyncBack Pro. It's proven to be a very reliable and uh, functional program. However, you can use whatever program you've uh, come over the years. So I'm going to create new profile and give it a name. I'm just going to call it FTP again for demonstration purposes. We'll call it FTP Backup. Next. And if you're using sync back, you want to make sure you use the backup option, not one of these other two. And now it's asking us, we're going to have a source of uh, internal drive, but the destination is going to be an FTP server. So next. Now the host name will be the IP address. And that's the IP address for mine. And the username, of course, we created it in the previous step, FTP underscore user. Enter the one, the name that you created, and of course, put in your password, your super strong password. And we want to make sure that we tell it it's a secure. And so now it's asking us what we want to back up. So we're just simply going to, I'm going to just select again for this folder. And the destination will be on the server, of course. And there's our server. And I'm going to create a folder inside there. I'm going to call that uh, FTP underscore back 
files and make sure I activate it. OK and OK. So now uh, Syncback Pro wants to do a simulation. You can or not. I'm going to. And uh, there's 100 megabytes. I'm going to continue the simulation. The simulation was successful. So what we've just accomplished here is we created a backup profile with Syncback Pro to back up our files onto that secure FTP. And the point here is that once we've done that, even should malware get onto our systems, it can't access that FTP server on the NAS. That's safe. So you, the rest of your system may be compromised, but that data will be safe. So you have a way to get that data back and recover from an attack. So I'm just going to run that now. And it's running quite quickly. It's on the local network. And we've got success. And now we're going to take a minute to go back to the NAS just to have a look at those files that were backed up. So now we're back on our Synology NAS. We're using, you'll note there, the file station. And file station is kind of like Windows Explorer. That's how we access and manipulate files, copy them, and so on. So we have our FTP folder, and you'll recall that uh, I created a FTP underscore back underscore files. And there is a backup of my files. And if you run your backup on a regular basis, should the worst happen and malware get onto your system, at the very least, you can rebuild your systems with your important files. So I hope this has uh, proven useful to you, and thanks for watching.